one could be a good fit for it because it could be somebody like me who is relatively new to learning and development the field of learning and development um, and is just trying to kind of get a solid foundation of things. Or it could be somebody who's been working in the industry for a long time and is looking for a new approach or a new outlook. Definitely people who are looking or maybe struggling with making, you know, significant progress at their organizations with learning, I would say the would be the best fit for people who are you know, in that innovative mindset and are ready to break away from that traditional model, because if your mindset's not there with it, then it's going to be hard to to fully commit and see the results that are intended. Anybody who has a message that they want someone else to understand is a perfect fit for the practicum. What I love about the practicum is while it is very focused on education and using the rigor of all of the learning models that are the L&D models that are out there, it can apply to any project. So I think it's really good for anybody. I would recommend the workshop to not only seasoned L&D professionals, but also those that are thinking of transitioning to learning and development, or perhaps in the first uh, year or two in their learning and development role. So many of the skills and characteristics that are required in L&D are transferable from other disciplines. And what the LCD model provides is this easy to digest and understand and apply framework that helps you apply and take those characteristics that you already know in whatever discipline you're in and and apply it to L&D in a very meaningful way. And it also is a very iterative process. So what's awesome about it is that it meets you where you are and wherever you uh, need to go. So if you're taking programs and just trying to update them, or you're trying to take programs and build them from the ground up, this is a great model to use uh, to foster that development. I would recommend it to any anyone who is in charge of leading the work around professional learning, even the chief executive officers, human resource managers, any manager because they are in charge of actually training and developing. So I honestly, I would say anyone who is in charge of ensuring that on the job performance, if you are going to evaluate and observe and provide feedback around someone's job performance, I think that it is your job to train them in a way that's going to allow them to change those behaviors because you are ultimate account, ultimately accountable for their work. Everything I looked at, it was all about content and so forth, uh, more so than a strategic plan. And I needed a strategic plan. So I would say every, if if they're not using something similar, if they've come up with something on their own, it will have huge impact. And I, I mean, I really b- believe that we're going to, it's my goal anyway, is to use this for any any initiative that we're going to do that's that's worthy of doing we should go through this process and i think for for nothing else lnd department should just go through this workshop go through the process just to see how they're doing and kind of gauge are are we getting the results we want because what it really does and i've heard this from a number of people it makes you stop and go you know, I was just pumping training out there, but I really was, we didn't have, that's where it kind of ended. There, there wasn't a, you know, try to get a business result strategy at the end. What are we trying to accomplish here? It was, here's our need from whoever. And we, we were just, you know, basically like a short order cook, keep, you know, keep pumping out the content and, um, or assigning the learning. 